side.
Left the superstore, we copped up on the drip. I'm driving right now, but I'm still finna show y'all what I got. Well, I don't know what you're gonna do with my bag. Um, you can use my bag. We, have to we got the same thing with the shirt and the cup. I'm low key driving, but um, huh. it's raining OD. And freaking this highway or whatever we're on is OD packed, child. We'll bother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Set up the coverage for PB, man. Recipes PB Rock. Um, yeah, that's all we got, chat. We couldn't go to motherfucking Jollibee. It's gonna take almost a freaking hour, bro. We can't get there. Um, but we took an hour because of freaking rain, bro. I wish I could finish it out of rain. This is crazy. It's raining, chat. Wow, man. Say hi to the camera. Oh, they're too. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nah. Can't wait to Yeah, look at the yeah, look at the yeah. Show the yeah. Wait, right here? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it? It looks like it's getting towed. You can't even see the whole thing. Just... I was here. Is that actually right here? So, chat, right? This is just like a couple of ones in the other plane glizzies. Oh, look, they got glizzy bread, glizzy flame, some hash brown pizza, another glizzy sandwich. Look at that. The glitzy hot dog bowl is crazy. Man. This is insane. I ain't gonna see this in my chat. Look at all this other stuff. Lizzy work is insane. Little donuts. Seriously. Oh, that looks good. Some donuts. Look, these bowls. I saw some donuts here. I don't know where they went. Bowls, 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 bowls. Go down the line. a chat. You want to play some other freaking smack down <laughs> in the hole? Here's truly the greatest of all time. Ice Dog Baby. I'm on the Blue Bridge to the Blue Show tonight. And I'm ready to lose my voice. If I don't lose it tonight, there's an issue. Because I'm going to be hyped. 
Right there is the Lincoln Financial Field. The home of WrestleMania 40. Tomorrow night. I can't wait. And neither can you. And also the Philly Stadium. In Wells Fargo will be coming up your way shortly. <laughs> Short. Yeah. There's a city. The city, the skyline view. Trying to hurry up. I'm about five minutes from the stadium. Loki uh pulled out. But uh we're on the way. Let's get it. Oh, there's a monkey for that shit. Oh, okay. So, baby. Baby? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Oh, oh, it's Paul Heyman! What? Really? Off the Hall of Fame tonight. 8 p.m. Paul Heyman. I'm trying to zoom in. What do you guys say to the chat? Are you recording? Yo, chat. We're here. We're at the SmackDown press conference, pre show, whatever you want to call it. SmackDown tonight. Hall of Fame tonight. Bush Rocker Center. Philly. Ice Golf. Yeah. WrestleMania. The Lincoln Financial Field. We're going to this. Whatever this thing is called, the pre show press conference. Um, we're live. We're trying to be uh, on the air, so you might catch me on TV. I'm repping The Rock tonight because he's a GOAT. I don't like him right now because my man Cody all finished that story. But he's still tough. And we got Cena about because Cena coming back this week. <laughs> In this city. Yeah. Yeah. That's a match that launched my entire career, and you guys have had my back since day one. And now tomorrow night, I get to make my wife proud. I get to make my kid proud. I get to make all the people of this city who have supported me. Whether it was in front of 300 people on the corner of Ricker and Swanson. For 65,000 people at the link. Yeah. Tomorrow I pay everybody back when I become a four-time intercontinental champion. Yeah. Yeah. Jokes aside, and I'm very serious about that, Sammy. Look at you. You're not cut out for this. Look at your T-shirt. Win, Rocky, win. Do you think that's some sort of movie? <laughs> Sammy, that's the reality. And in that reality, the Hingenagan is the greatest intercontinental heavyweight champion of all time. I give you one thing. You are a great challenger. You are a great contender. Click 
but you not cut out to fill up my shoes. Yeah. I mean, you, you shouldn't worry about getting pins, yeah. getting submitted. The only thing you should worry about getting your lifeless body dragged out of that ring after right. I'm done with you. And make sure yeah. your family gets brought backstage before that final bell rings. Because after I'm done with you tomorrow, I will still be the greatest and longest reigning Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion in history. Look, I'm not going to take anything away from you. You are probably the most dominant champion, maybe ever in WWE. You're definitely the greatest Intercontinental Champion in WWE, but I'm going to remind you of something, and I don't like to play this card too often, but I'm going to play it right now. Last year, I main evented WrestleMania, do you understand? Yeah. You want to keep talking about me like I'm the underdog? Well, I'm not. I already ended the longest tag team title reign of all time. I beat the greatest tag team of all time, and now tomorrow night, I am going to be the one good that get a good look at me. You ran through all the challengers, but look at me closely. I am the one who's gonna be the guy who finally beats you. Oh my god, you're right. 
Tomorrow night, Jimmy and Jay. Tomorrow night, we stand on business. Man, tomorrow night, you about to catch this G down. And if you want Jimmy Uso to catch this G down, then let me hear you say, WrestleMania Saturday and WrestleMania Sunday. This will be the 23rd time in my career that I have had the opportunity. Oh! Every year that I do this, it is not lost on me the importance of what we're about to embark on in the next couple of days. Now, Sunday night, when Drew McIntyre takes on Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship, the three of us are going to have a special guest sitting next to us at the commentary table. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my friend. Oh my he is the Second City Saint. Yeah! Yeah! This is like a big tailgate party with all you freaks out here. Yeah. You know, I used to live here in Philadelphia. You know, Sammy Zayn was out here earlier talking about Swanson and Rittner, but you know, we're in the shadow of the link. That's what they call it, right, Pat? Am I right? They call it the link. I started at the Murphy Rec Center, and now we're here. It's a big deal, and I might not be wrestling tomorrow night, but I will be doing the You couldn't have kept me away for any reason. You knew I was going to be here at WrestleMania. 40 years of WrestleMania. Michael Cole's called all of them. I love it. Keep that energy going. Enjoy WrestleMania. I can't wait to see you all tomorrow and Sunday. WrestleMania! You can't have WrestleMania in Philadelphia without CM Punk. You also can't have WrestleMania without the World Heavyweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Seth Rogen Punk!
But it don't get no bigger than WrestleMania 40. Yeah. It is without a doubt going to be the biggest two nights in the history of our industry, the biggest two nights in the history of my career. And it starts tomorrow night when myself and the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, Rollins and Drew McIntyre in the World Heavyweight Championship. Mentals, everyone from all across the world, the most passionate of all. But as your leader, I got to give you all some advice. So please listen. This is a PSA from Drew McIntyre. You got to cut the cringe out for the love of God. Number one, if you don't personally know the superstars, please don't call them by their government name. Especially the girls, it makes my skin crawl. Number two, I'm talking to some of you out there. If you're a full grown adult, don't have a title on your shoulder and peacock around like you want it for something. You want it for nothing, you're a bloody loser. I caught that out when I was 13 because I wanted to win a real one, so I won it twice. I'm going to win a third one on Sunday, so shut it. Number three. Don't support the cringe lord himself, Seth Rollins. Ooh. I've been talking a lot of crap. It's been fun. 
You're not one for trash talking, but the comebacks. What you are one for is wrestling. I arrived here in 2007. I've been on the full time roster with guys like Ric Flair, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker. Edge, who's who? The current superstars. Superstars outside the company. You're one of the absolute best I've ever been in the ring with. And I mean that. We've had multiple battles, multiple five star matches, and this Sunday should be the best one of all and the biggest stage of all. But you spread yourself too thin. You did exactly what I told you not to do, and instead of a glorious world title match, it's going to be an execution. Don't get his blood pressure up, he's going to tear something else. <laughs> Saturday, I will drag my body to WrestleMania on Sunday, and I will fight you with everything I have left. I will leave it all in the ring right here in Philadelphia. If you want a chance to win the world title in front of live fans, you want a chance to prove to yourself, to prove to the world that you're as good as you think you are. I'm going to give you that chance. But I promise you this, as good as you might be, you ain't Seth freaking Rollins. And the last thing you're going to hear at the end of the night is the entire world singing my song. Yeah, 
because my guest tonight is an absolute legend in this industry. And every time I get to share the ring with them, it means a lot to me. We'll share it on Sunday, but I'm going to bring him out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome.
So of course, the ladies cheer for Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. Think about it. Your dummies, their dummies, like attracts like. They got me wrestling two of the dumbest dudes in the WWE. And how Randy got a head the size of an elephant, but a brain the size of a peanut. And Kevin Owens, he's using all his brain power trying to figure out how to digest his last meal. Which likely consisted of roadkill and a rubber tire. But me, y'all looking at a mastermind, a strategist. I'm playing four dimensional chess, a game of cat and mouse. No. No, no, no. Right now, my associates, Grayson Waller and Austin Theory, are across the street, about to lay an down on your heroes, Randy and Kevin. And let me tell you something. I got eyes on the scene. And this beat down ain't gonna be pretty. There's a cameraman on site right now. So if you're squeamish, I have to warn you, you best to look away.
Can you feel that? Yeah. 40 years of WrestleMania talk about the pressure. Tomorrow night, myself, my partner, my friend, the world heavyweight champion, Seth Ricky Rollins. We are going to slap the final boss, The Rock, so hard yeah. that his ego lifts out of his body like his soul and he remembers what it's like to be the people's champion. We are going to shatter the foundation of the bloodline and on Sunday, 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 I am going to dethrone the tribal chief. Yeah. That's right. I am fighting for every moment that has defined me, for every single fan believed in me for everyone who ever dreamed out in the open and my dream was to become champion and this Sunday know this that when one good story ends an even better one begins
challenge our tribal chief.